Hi, everyone. I'm Ken Ham, CEO of Answers and Genesis, the Creation Museum, and the Ark Encounter. And I am so thrilled to be able to talk with Pastor Jeff Durbin today. He's pastor of Apologia Church in Arizona, and he's the head of End Abortion Now. Now, there's going to be a special gathering about a bill that's going to come up in Kentucky. He's going to give us all the information. This is really, really important. End Abortion Now has actually raised up and equipped over 900 local churches globally to bring the gospel to abortion mills. And that effort has saved tens of thousands of lives and brought the gospel to countless men and women. And Jeff has also been a part of putting bills of equal protection and abolition into many states across the country, including Arizona, Texas, South Carolina, Louisiana, Pennsylvania, Colorado, and this year, he's working in over 10 states, including the state of Kentucky, where the Creation Museum and the Ark are and our Answers in Genesis headquarters, uh, to give equal protection to all human beings from fertilization. By the way, we say from fertilization, not conception, because actually the medical dictionaries have changed the definition of conception because they want to justify using abortion drugs before a fertilized egg is implanted in the womb. It's shocking what's going on, but... Hey, Jeff, uh, welcome, and please tell us all about this upcoming informational pastors gathering. Well, not just pastors, pastors and leaders. I know there's some legislators that said they want to come. So tell us about this particular gathering, which we're having actually at the Creation Museum. It's going to be in our beautiful Legacy Hall, and that's our auditorium here that's been totally upgraded. It's absolutely state-of-the-art technology. And those who come get free admission to the Creation Museum for the day, free parking, and we're offering their families 50% off a normal admission. So this is a special opportunity for them. So first of all, tell us about this gathering. Yeah, Ken, thank you, brother. I appreciate you and all that you do and, and for your ministry's consistent work and message in this area of uh, the issue of abortion and the pre-born. Uh, it's meant so much to us that you are that you have taken the stand that you have and you you are you guys have been so consistent and also that you're opening up the Creation Museum to allow us to gather pastors in the church in the state of Kentucky to work on this vitally important bill that is through and through a Christian bill, a consistent bill. It's a bill essentially, Ken, that teaches and instructs and declares what you have so faithfully taught over the years in your ministry regarding the pre-born. Uh, this bill in Kentucky is called the Abolition of Abortion in Kentucky Act. Uh, it's similar to the bills we've gotten in across the country, and so many states are doing it this year. It's a bill that is consistent, Ken. It just says that uh, what is in the womb is Im in the image of God, which is, praise God, an amazing thing to put uh, into legislation to define um, what's in the womb as the way that God defines what's in the womb, in the image of God. And essentially, the bill is simple. It says that what's in the womb is in the image of God. Uh, we are human from fertilization, and all humans deserve equal protection from the moment of fertilization to natural death. It is a consistent bill. It's not a bill of partiality. It's not a bill that is inconsistent that says uh, you can kill these children but not these children. It is a bill that is glorifying to God, that is honoring to God, and it establishes equal protection for all human beings from fertilization. So uh, we are grateful to God for His grace in allowing us to be able to work on a bill like this and bills like this across the states. Uh, it is a bill that we already have a legislator in the state of Kentucky who is actually putting this bill in, uh, and uh, it's going to be up and running very, very soon. So we are working together with pastors and churches and uh, with Abolish Abortion Kentucky to raise up pastors across the state of Kentucky to actually speak consistently to the culture, to preach the gospel in the midst of this, and to demand of the legislators that they act consistent with their professions. Many of the legislators in Kentucky have said, Ken, that they believe that we are human from the moment of fertilization. This bill says what they say they believe, and we are hoping that the church rises up to challenge legislators to do what's right before God and for the sake of our pre-born neighbors and to establish equal protection 
for all human beings in the state of Kentucky. You guys have graciously opened up the Creation Museum to us uh, to allow us to have a meeting where we are calling all pastors who love the Lord and love His gospel and love these preborn neighbors. We're calling you to come and join us at the Creation Museum. It is 11 a.m. at the Creation Museum um, on January 25th, so that is coming up very, very shortly. It is almost here, January 25th, 11 a.m. at the Creation Museum, all pastors in Kentucky who want to stand for the truth, the gospel, and righteousness in this area. Um, and uh, we're going to have an event page where you can RSVP. Please tell your pastors, and if you are a pastor, please RSVP, endabortionnow.com slash KY, Kentucky. You have all the information there, so you can get RSVP'd, you can check in. We invite you to invite all all your pastor friends and all the churches that you can to join us, because, Ken, this is the key issue, and I wanted to make sure that this was laid down as the most important thing. I'm a pastor, and Abortion Now is a ministry of Apologia Church. This is not a ministry or an organization that operates outside of the Christian faith or outside of the Christian church. We think that the neutrality is actually a myth, that uh, Christ is Lord of all, and he says, you're either with me or you are against me. We believe that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, the only way to salvation, and that God's Word is the ultimate authority. So we are actually fighting this battle for the sake of God's glory, with the gospel, and for, of course, the sake of our preborn neighbors. Our movement is a distinctly Christian Christ-centered, gospel-saturated movement. We do not believe that compromise is glorifying to God, nor do we believe it's consistent, or that any transformation truly comes through compromise or a gospel-less message. We believe that the unjustified taking of human life um, is murder, and that we believe that abortion uh, is the unjustified taking of human life, and that God would call us to be witnesses and light in this area, to stand up for the truth, to stand in an uncompromising way, and to ultimately give equal protection to all human beings from fertilization. And so, Ken, what this movement represents, and I want all my pastors, my brothers to hear me on this, is a movement of the Christian Church. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, over the last 50 years since Roe versus Wade, of course, is overturned now, but unfortunately, the Church has essentially handed off this mission uh, to establish justice for the preborn to mostly outside agencies and organizations that will tell you um, boldly and with confidence that they are not Christian organizations. Uh, They're not essentially standing on the gospel or the authority of God's Word as they fight their battle, um, as you have been, uh, Ken, with Answers in Genesis and all that you've done. We represent pastors and Christians across the nation who are trying to actually engage this issue with Christ and His Lordship over the top of it, and with consistency, and with the gospel message um, wrapped up into this. And so what's happening in Kentucky right now is something very important for pastors to hear. You have a bill of equal protection. It is the abolition of abortion in the state of Kentucky. It is a bill that calls what's in the womb the image of God. You have that bill going into the state of Kentucky, and we want to call all pastors to join us for this very special meeting at the Creation Museum, January 25th at 11 a.m., to join us there, to get together, to pray together, and to prepare as the church— Uh, with Christ at the front of this to actually end abortion in the state of Kentucky. That's what we're doing, Ken. And Jeff, uh, when people come, uh, pastors, Christian leaders, and and go to that link, and you can get that again at the end here, uh, where they can register for this, uh, they'll receive free parking, free lunch, and free admission to the Creation Museum for that day. And we just recently opened the most powerful pro-life exhibit in the world, and it's biblically based, just like what you're doing with this bill. In other words, if we're not just against abortion because it's killing a human being, it's because we have a foundation from God's word to understand we're human beings made in God's image. Right. And he knit us together in our mother's womb. He saw our unformed substance before our bodies were even fully formed because we're humans made in God's image right from fertilization. Important to understand that. And of course, science confirms that anyway, uh, because we know no new information is ever added uh, into the DNA, into the genes once we have a fertilized egg. So 
from biblical basis and scientific basis, yes, uh, we're human beings made in God's image right from fertilization. And I love what you are doing. And I love it that it's a work of the church and it's a, it's a work of your, your heart because of the gospel. Uh, that's so very, very important. So I really encourage as many uh, pastors, Christian leaders as possible in the state of Kentucky to register for this. Uh, come along at uh, 11 o'clock uh, to 2 o'clock it is in Legacy Hall in the Creation Museum, free parking and free lunch and free admission to the Creation Museum. See the new powerful uh, exhibit that we have, the Fearfully and Wonderfully Made exhibit. And as well as that, uh, family members can receive a 50% off actual general admission as well that day so they can go through the Creation Museum and also uh, see this wonderful pro-life exhibit. So once again, Jeff, uh, just go through the details of how they can register and give uh, details of the date and so on uh, as uh, we get to the end here. Absolutely, Ken. I appreciate you. And and one of the things I wanted to just say to, to the audience, one of the things I've appreciated so much, Ken, about you and Answers in Genesis and your ministry over, over such a long period of time is the consistent message, uh, the way that you say things without compromise. And I just want to say publicly uh, that uh, one, it's been a tremendous benefit to, to me and to our team here to see that you guys truly do believe what you say you believe. Your team has been amazing at uh, helping and sacrificing so much uh, for the sake of the preborn in Kentucky. And so what we're doing is on the 25th of January, that's this month, it's right around the corner, it's 11 a.m. at the Creation Museum, 11 a.m. Creation Museum. As Ken said, we're taking care of uh, everything for pastors, so you get free admission, you get free parking, come to and meet with us, pray with us, get equipped to work together with the church in the state of Kentucky. And you guys have been so gracious to allow pastors who bring their families and kids, uh, maybe they want to go and view all these amazing things at the Creation Museum while the while their dads are in the in the in the meeting with pastors. You've been gracious enough to give them an amazing discount. Uh, we are of course feeding all of our pastors for free, and the goal here is to join together as a work of the Church of Jesus Christ um, uh, with the gospel at the front of this uh, to actually once and for all end, abolish, and criminalize abortion in the state of Kentucky. And so I just want to once again encourage pastors, this is a work of the church. This is about the gospel. This is about a consistent message from the authority of the Word of God to our community in Kentucky and to the legislators and rulers in the state of Kentucky. We want equal protection for all image bearers of God, all human beings from fertilization to natural death. That's what this bill is about, and it's happening January 25th, Creation Museum. Ken, thank you again for all that you've done for us. Thank you. And to register, they go to endabortionnow.com. Endabortionnow.com slash KY. Uh, that's, that's where they're going to go. All the information is there for the state, and there's a link for uh, signing up to get RSVP'd for the event on January 25th. Great. Look forward to seeing you here, Jeff. Thank you, Ken. Look forward to seeing you, brother. Thank you.